Let's take you here now. A coalition of the LGBTQIA plus organizations and University of Cape Town staff and students are today protesting against the upcoming public lecture by Kenyan professor Patrick Lumumba to mark the Economic Freedom Fighters 10th anniversary. Lumumba, who is in an interview said homosexuals should be cured, is a vocal supporter of Uganda's anti-homosexual bill, which criminalizes homosexuality with harsh punishments, including the death penalty. Now let's discuss this. We're now joined via Zoom by Kanyisile Phillips, Education Advocacy Officer at Agenda Dynamics. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon, Kanyisile. Now it seems like it's all systems go for Professor Lumumba to give the this address. I mean, as gender dynamics, what are your views of, firstly, the professor's strong views? And uh, even more interesting is the fact that his talk comes just months after uh, Julius Malema led a march to the Ugandan embassy in Pretoria against, you know, the anti-homosexuality bill at the time. Thank you so much for the opportunity and the invitation uh, to be interviewed on this matter uh, to the SABC. I think for us, definitely, we are gathered here today um, in front of the Saraki Bartman um, Lecture Hall, where the, uh, the anniversary lecture will be held later this evening. And of course, we are standing here as many times before, where we're mourning the loss of our beloved siblings, siblings whose lives were tra tragically taken away uh, due to sponsors like those of um, uh, Patrick Lumumba in saying that, you know, um, homosexuals and LGBTQ persons should be murdered, should be killed and should be cured. Um, and of course, a strong supporter of the anti-homosexuality bill of Uganda. Um, and so I think it's important to note that our stance as human rights activists and student uh, and organizations, trans and queer led student uh, groups, uh, such as student organizations, so as well as allies in the space, we are deeply troubled and concerned by the actions of this university, by the University of Cape Town, um, and of course by the EFF in inviting and extending an invitation to um, uh, Patrick Lubumba to come and deliver this lecture, um, a person that has been uh, deemed a pan-Africanist, but of course we know that he's almost also a homophobic um, and a transphobic academic. Um, and so I think it's really important to note that we urge the university and the political party to value um, all life and to value the life of humans and respect the human rights of all, um, including LGBTQ individuals. So I think we demand that the university and the political party, EFF, um, use the power as opposed to further repress the um, denigrate and of course erase and criminalize trans and gender diverse persons, um, not just in South Africa, but also on the continent to consider and reevaluate the invitation. Of course, this is going ahead and the, the, the lecture will be happening um, in less than two hours from now, but we are determined to, to, to share our message and to demonstrate our message um, collectively and in solidarity uh, to speak to uh, the lives lost due to uh, the strong views, homophobic, transphobic and hatred that has been um, spread by uh, Patrick Lumumba. And of course, this is coming as a surprise that the EFF has um, supported uh, the, the lecture and of course extended the invitation to Patrick Lumumba uh, today and uh, after they of course have um, protested to and, and in front of the Ugandan Human Rights Commission in Pretoria earlier this year. So I think it's really coming as a surprise in a place that really comes down to uh, that political uh, stance and that political instability um, that you that you that we're talking about. We uh, political parties are very often uh, you know playing the field uh, that will that will support when 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 at this uh, political season, but when it is not uh, voting season, they might retract um, whatever is you know kind of like in the, in the headlines will go wherever um, we can gain more followers. And I think this of course comes down to people's lives. Can you see um, people on the continent. Can you see, let me come in there. Uh, uh, so how many people are you yes. expecting to be joining you today? I mean, uh, one of the things that I'm hearing you say is, of course, that you're not only, you know, marching against, uh, you know, the EFF, but you're also taking a stance against the institution, UCT mm -hmm. itself. 
I mean, how dangerous do you think that, um, you know, yeah. institutions and political parties, whilst they are, you know, uh, you know, hold very strong views in terms of pan-Africanists and, 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 and support them, but at the same time, they're feeding mm. into the system that is um, essentially, you know, oppressing, uh, you know, other, another group or a community of people. I mean, what you talk about in terms of, you know, the deaths of people in the LGBTQI community is that, these are real stats. I mean, in 2017, it was found that, you know, four in 10 LGBTQ, um, you know, IA plus South Africans know of someone who has been murdered because of this. So what we must understand here is that universities play a crucial role, just like schools in South Africa play a crucial role in shaping the minds and in fostering an environment that, that is of learning, of critical thinking, and that is of respect for diversity. I think by the university taking the stance of permitting um, Lemumba uh, a platform at the university, I think it's really failing in its duty to protect its staff, its students, and of course the broader LGBTQ community in South Africa um, and the African continent as a whole from the harm that has been spread and the harm that might be spread today um, and, inevitable, and, and inevitable violence. So I think it's really for us to say that this institution needs to take a decisive decision to, um, to speak up against this um, and of course not to have allowed Lumumba to the platform to come and, um, and, and deliver the speech. I just wanted to touch on the fact that um, earlier this month we had uh, some staff at UCT as well as student structures who um, spoke to or submitted a letter to the, um, the UCT um, interim vice chancellor, the deputy vice chancellor uh, for transformation and the student affairs and for student affairs and social responsiveness. Um, and it is really just heartening to see that they have not responded to that letter and that they are quiet on the matter and that the lecture is continuing today. So I think it's really important to note that even the institution, and I mean, we've seen similar instances um, playing itself out the um, institutions and an institution like this, a public institution like UCT, should, uh, should uphold the constitution as an, uh, um, a democratic obligation and, of course, a constitutional um, mandate to ensure that trans, gender diverse, LGBTQ minorities, specifically gender and sexual minorities, uh, rights are protected and that they have, of course, um, um, as consented to uh, Lumamba coming yeah. in and doing this lecture Thank today. So we are, we are saying that it is, it is high time that this institution take a stance and be vocal on that stance because we have had enough of institutions and political parties who say that they support the community by paying lip services and, of course, cosmeticized interventions thanks. and support. Yeah, no, thanks, Kanyisile. I think we got that point. Thank you so much for your time. Of course, uh, Kanyisile Phillips is Education Advocacy Officer at Gender Dynamics. We